This is Cabway Lingo. It's a state park in West Virginia, and it includes a Hatfield McCoy Trail, which is really cool and really pretty. So we're starting out, just pulling out of the uh, trailhead, going up trail number 15 for eh, maybe a mile, not too far. And we hang a left onto 29. Uh, the other guys, the fast guys, are going to take the left and go up and do the clockwise rotation around the trail. We're going to take the counterclockwise, which starts out with a hill. Uh, it's steeper than it looks, and it's pretty long, so uh, got to work to keep the momentum going. Interesting that it, the trail, you know, falls off the, the side of the mountain to your right and keeps up the mountain to your left. When I first started riding Hatfield McCoy, those drop-offs would freak me out completely. But it's gotten over the years, so I don't even notice that the uh, that the side of the mountain goes a couple hundred feet down. <clears throat> Starting to get a little bit of color in the leaves too, which is really pretty. So we've climbed about 140 feet already um, from the trailhead. Just a gorgeous blue sky, a couple of clouds to give you some contrast. Temperatures in the low 80s, I mean, just. That's steep. We're climbing. Just a perfect day for a ride. Still 29. Now we're taking 10 up to the fire tower, um, the highest point in this section of the trail at least. The fire tower's just to the right on that top of that ridge, but you can't really see it through the uh, through all the trees. I might be going the wrong way around this uh, little loop, but it seems fine. Not a lot of traffic up here. I'm going to look at the map. Okay. And some people might want to climb up to the rock tower, the firehouse. Is that what this is, a firehouse? F fire tower? Oh, I was just wondering. It's not as comfortable. I'd rather be, have my own bed. It's a bit rocky.
Now we're back on 29. Heading into the campground, the Tick Ridge Campground, which picks up Trail 11. This is a really nice, well-groomed trail, which turns left here. There's a set of switchbacks on the trail starting pretty soon. In fact, here comes the first one. These cause anxiety, especially this next one that dives off to the right. I had a bad time riding it uh, with Steve a couple years ago. made it. A lot of elevation change in this part of the trail. more color on the trees and some rocks on the side. Just such a nice ride. I think this is the counterclockwise is the way to go. 
uh, the, one of the big things I don't like about going the other way is trying to go up that switchback. <laughs> Correct. You know, that... This is, little, this is an improvement. Yeah. And, you know, it's not only you don't go have to go up it, but to refresh. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It's also beautiful. It is gorgeous. Uh, this place is just... We do 25 a very long way until we get to 18. And then we're going to turn left on 18. And I'm going to I'm going to roll on to the next one. Okay. If I can I remember how to ride. Here we're exploring a graveyard. You can see the gravestones as we pull in. And we're riding on a road. We're not uh, going over any of the graves. I've not seen this graveyard before. There's some logging equipment and some logs. If you look at my video from May, you'll see us have a close encounter with a fully loaded logging truck. There's another graveyard with a little lean-to carp fork around a pulpit. Well maintained, fresh flowers, they're probably plastic flowers, but it still looks very nice. Yeah. And the ones when we came in look older. Yeah, yeah, there's some old, this, these are 1800s. When you go up there, you want to see a thing.
Yeah, isn't this cool? Yes, this is very, very cool. Yeah, we want to take. Those are side by side. I agree. Yeah, That's what I we want to take uh, 25 to 18. Yep. And it'll be it'll be a right turn on 18. A, le a left turn on 18. Do you want to wait for these sides? No, we're faster than there. I think side by sides are coming up. I think so too. Oh. Well, then I'll be prepared for them. <laughs> This is still 25, going to 18. Now eight, we're going to take 18 and drop off the ridge, so we're probably going to go down four or five hundred feet over the course of this ride. 55. It's got to be this way. 18. 18. Can he take us for 50? Still on 18, um, that was 20 heading off to the left, which takes you back up the hill, which Steve and I discovered a couple years ago when we kept doing that loop. We got lost doing this over and over again. We're down almost 500 feet from the ridge already.
If you look off to the left, you can barely see some pavement. That's the road back uh, that cuts through the whole complex. So we decided to take the pavement back up past the trailhead and then up a couple of miles to where there's a gas station um, and a deli to get some lunch. Because it's about 12.30. Even the valley is pretty nice looking. And that's the trailhead. We'll keep on trucking. The uh, KTM 300 is not a great dual sport. It's not really very happy on the pavement. And it gets progressively more unhappy the faster you go. So 35 to 40 is pretty much the limit. And here's our lunch stop. heading back towards the trailhead. <clears throat> Ron and I are going to pick up the trail where well, I'll height and Jeff are going to go ahead and head back all the way to the trailhead and load up. So we're going to pick up the clockwise trail here in a bit. Which is what PJ and the other guys did earlier in the morning. So this is trail 13. You can't see it because I'm leading Ron, but uh, I'm kicking up a pretty good amount of dust here. It's real dry.
these downhills are a little more challenging than I expected. Uh, I think that's a reflection that I'm a little bit more tired than I expected. Like that one hill that was all talc. It was like sand, like it's almost like there's a beach up here without water, like some of that. It's not dirt, it's too I hard. mean, most of them were short, but that was a long hill, pretty steep, and man, my rear wheel was just the brake was trying to lock up constantly. It's really loose. You gotta go through really fast. Yeah, well, I know and I understand that program, but my brain won't let me. <laughs> Ron suggesting that I just go faster down the hill which is the easy, easy way to keep the rear wheel from uh, locking up. This is the road that runs from the uh, deli to the trailhead or the trailhead to the deli, whichever way you are going. We're headed back to the trailhead. trucks and trailers. We must be at the trailhead. Ninety-five degrees on the thermometer, so it's gotten a little bit warmer, but it's still a really nice day. wondered how you could get a camper up to the campground because you sure can't go up to trail 29 that we took earlier in the morning so uh, I was told that this trail 11 uh, goes up there and this is really just a country gravel road it's really well maintained it's wide enough for two-way traffic and it's not very steep There's one of the campground structures up on the right. I'm going to drive around and go through the loop that connects the, the campsites. Nobody here. You would think on a Sunday middle of the day there'd be a couple of campers or tents or something.
This is actually Trail 11. And this is 29. So we were here much earlier in the morning. We were here much earlier in the morning. In the morning we went off to the right, and now we'll go off to the left and back down to the trailhead.